Hey guys, I'm back. Of course, I did promise you that I was going to show you my hot chicken curry, right? I'm going to make my hot chicken curry with a little bit of a difference because we love potatoes. I think we all do in the Western world. And uh, coming from my background, which is Malaysian and uh, uh, part Indian because my father came from, you know, Punjab. And of course, they love their potatoes. But you know, the potatoes where we can purchase here in abundance, like a bag for five kilo at a time, over there, I remember my mother going to the greengrocer and just getting about a couple because that's how expensive uh, they are in Malaysia. So today, and that's what I'm doing, a little part of my you know heritage here. And to start my chicken, hot chicken curry, what we are going to be doing first, we're going to actually add some aromatics. Now to these aromatics, we're going to add some lemongrass, which I have actually chopped up. Lemongrass, of course, the top part of my lemongrass is just uh, sitting here in a vase uh, of water. You do need to use the base part of lemongrass, and that's what the lemongrass looks like. Grows abundantly, of course, in uh, Southeast Asia, and definitely we do grow them in the gardens here. So I am really, really thrilled to get a good quality of lemongrass. So let's just throw some lemongrass into my pan. Oh, nice. To that, I am going to create another authentic flavor. Mmm, curry leaves. And that's what these are. The audience at home, I know you can't smell this, but how about you guys? <laughs> I can see the knot there, which is wonderful. Just want to turn the heat down just slightly, and you will actually uh, see the lemongrass uh, popping, and that's exactly what it does. Oh, what an aroma! I can, I can definitely smell that one. Now, what I'm going to do now, I don't need any onions, garlic or ginger. I have created my own paste. I have created my own sambal paste. This is what this is. This actually eliminates the uh, chopping preparation time definitely by half an hour. Because the sambal, you do have to actually cook it a long time to actually create a happy marriage between all the ingredients that's in there. Again, I have, I have actually incorporated my Malaysian heritage with, uh, you know, a Northern Indian uh, a style of cooking as well. So in here, I have got my homemade uh, sambal paste. And to that, I am actually going to, you could say it, cheat a little bit. Don't we all use curry powder? You know, so that's exactly what I have got. I have got some curry powder and that goes into my sambal. Hey sir, what's the difference between curry paste and curry powder? Sure Matt, what we have got here, the difference between the, these two ingredients is that uh, the curry powder is a dry uh, part of, you know, uh, curry, like a combination of coriander, the cumin, the fennel, all those uh, type of, you know, uh, curries and they just combine it well just by grinding it down, you know, and hence your curry powder. And then the curry paste tends to be a lot moisture, a lot more moisture in there because of it has a combination of the onions and uh, the garlic as well as, you know, uh, all the other uh, kind of a wet ingredients, you know, and hence that's where the curry powder uh, becomes curry powder and of course the curry paste. So you can actually use both or like I have done, I have incorporated my own sambal paste to the dry curry powder and perhaps you can do that too. Yes, right. Ash, can I just interrupt? What you said that the paste is homemade. Yes, yeah, so sure. Where can we where can we get it? Oh, so you're talking about my yeah. own sambal paste, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I, I bet you can smell this one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you a little secret about my uh, sambal paste here. So I'm calling this one my own simply side paste. I have actually jarred it just for you because I knew you were gonna ask me such a question, right? So what I have done is I have actually well, slaved over a hot stove for an hour. That's that's how long it's taken me. And in there, you have got you know a, a little bit of a, a Malaysian culture and a little bit of an Indian culture. And of course, uh, you know the Western culture in there. I think basically will be the onion. So I'm happy. So you go. You see the happy marriage. And that's what I have got. So if you like it that much, you certainly can take it home today. One day, you never know. I might even actually supply it in supermarket. That'll be the way to go, isn't it? Yeah. So it'll be readily available for everybody. Can you make it soon, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can, I can see it's, it's that smell talking, isn't it? Because you can certainly smell the ingredients, you know, the happy marriage that I talked about in here.